We're going to take this little library. It's a library, Minecraft library. We're going to transform it into this over here using my patented 5x5 five five Minecraft building system. Probably isn't patented, but never mind. Look, it's got a little tower. It's got extra little buildings. It is pretty cool. It is part of my village, floating village transformation series where we've done the L-shaped house, done the, the uh, farms, done the church, and done the library. These are all videos which you can check out on my channel because we've already transformed them. And this floating village is a time-lapse. You can see this created in time-lapse on my channel. Links to all these videos and the floating village playlist in the down below. So yeah, we've transformed every village uh, building and it's good fun. So today is the turn of the L-shaped house. This little L-shaped house. No, it's not. It's the library. I lie. It's the library. Where is the library? Library, library, library. Where did we go? <gasps> Here it is. So we're going to transform the library. This little teeny tiny building is going to become this one here. Let me tell you where it looks like inside. Down here, you've got a little um, storage area, which is nice. And then up here, you've got your normal library. Everyone knows about this library. And then up here, you have got your normal balcony here and then in here is a tower which obviously leads to the top of this big tower and then through here you've got a little adjoining corridor and then plenty of room this library owner gets a massive massive extension and probably room up here for some more floors as well and of course because it's a five by five minecraft building system if you expand it if you extend it if you make it bigger it still looks cool it all fits into the five by five building system it just works it just works let's grab some ingredients and get building. So the first ingredient is going to be some spruce wood stairs, polished and is your site. We've also got some stone bricks, a door of your choice. I've gone for spruce, some oak logs and fences, some sort of plants. There's lots and lots of plants. But I'm just going to grab some roses just now. Uh, stone brick. Be careful when you grab roses. You might feel a little bit of a prick if you do that too quickly. And then there's some stone brick stairs and ochus woodus schlabus. Okay, so. Here is the innocent little cute library, and we're going to make some little changes to it. First of all, we're going to slice off that end, okay? So the end with the, the tables, the kind of the table, tibbly end, slice those off. Then we're going to go for andesite, and we're going to slice um, you off as well. We're going to go for a count of 12. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this makes the tower over there. So let's make this little tower. Uh, gaps of three, of course, means that you're five wide with the tower. It's a square. It's the five by five Minecraft square building system. You've got to make uh, four of these twelves like that. Seal the deal at the top. And we'll do the top of the tower first. We're going to go for a ring of upside down stone brick stairs. And then round here, and then on top of that, we're going to go for a stone brick. And then you can put some nice, easy crenellations like this. It doesn't take long to do your crenellations there. Ah, <gasps> pretty cool, huh? I wonder if you can get machulations where you just... Mm, you could make some little points where you could shoot down as well. Anyway, 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 I digress. We're going to put a little bit of a floor right there. Pretty good so far. And then grab yourself some polished and easy to sight. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Alternate. Same over here. And then we're going to get stone bricks and just fill in these gaps here. There we are. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, down here, what we can do is alternate again on these ones. Same as, same as. But we're going to make a, a floor. This is going to be a little storage place. So we're actually going to put in a door right at the start. And then it's exactly the same uh, going up. So I'm going to do one more side like that. Then we might just speed up the video. Uh, boom, 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 boom. And then put these in. Four, five, six, seven. Good. So the other two sides need to be done. Be right back when that is done. Backside complete. If your backside is looking as good as mine, then we're ready to go back to the front here. And we're going to build this kind of shape. Now watch this. One, two, three, four. Gap of three. One, two, three, four. Gap of three. One, two, three, four. A little five by five. 
shape like this, four high, connected at the top. I'm going to call this the basic five by five wooden frame. Basic five by five wooden frame, but four blocks tall, four blocks tall. So we're going to put one of these here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And another one right here. Um, one, two, three, four. Hmm, it does mess up the window slightly, but hmm. Hmm. Actually, we're going to leave that one off, I guess, because it affects the window too badly. Um, so we're going to go uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Hmm. That's annoying. Anyway, one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go. So that's a little framework for that section. Kind of cool, actually. I like this. Um, and then we're going to put in some slabs right here. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And if you want, you could put some slabs in there. I'm not going to bother. And then with some slabs here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's open that up and we can make another little platform here. And this needs some light. So we can add one, two, three. And we're going to put some iron bars in there. One, two, three. I'm also going to grab a ladder and make a little exit up here as well. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoop. And that lets us get out, out to the top of the tower. And of course, you should finish things off with a little door like that. And if you want a bit more depth in your build, you could do that as well, which is quite cool. Just to tuck that door in a little smidgen like that. All right, we're getting there. Pretty good progress so far. So what we need now is some more of these four by four or four tall five by five frames so let's build another one another frame it's going to be right here this time one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four and then just seal the top like this so we're going to need quite a lot of these frames i'm going to use a special command i've got in my server just to uh, place a lot of these a little bit quicker so forgive me if i do that <laughs> it just speeds up the video okay it just speeds up the video the, the video the video uh big time and we could also as we do this with these frames it would be really useful if the floor was filled in on all these frames anyway so there's your first two five by five frames they're going to sit there just exactly like that so if i move the camera around nice and slowly you should see exactly exactly where they go good 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 so how many more frames do we need? Well, we need some on the bottom layer. We need another one there and another one there. Okay, again, I'm just using this command to speed it up for the video. Otherwise, you'd be here watching until Christmas time. We need that many. So it's a little four by four section. The beautiful thing about the library is it is nine blocks long. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this really, this frame work fits really nicely beside the library. Okay, we're also going to need to go up a little bit further. So we need another frame right here, like that. And then we're going to keep on going with these frames as well. So we need another one right here. Boom. And there, 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 and there. And that's it complete. So you can kind of see from above exactly how that kind of works out like that. And then from this side... Pretty straightforward, I hope you'll agree. And from this side, like that. So that is the basic, the basic shape. It's not too easy, not too difficult, is it? It's not too difficult. Not too difficult at all. Okay, so now we need to put in a little bit of detail. So the first detail I'm gonna need to put in is some oak. And I know I'm not using any much of these ingredients and kind of just being a bit weird, but we've got these main ingredients here. What, what have we added so far? We've added oak planks, ladders, and iron bars. That's pretty much all I've added, I think, so far. I don't need that arrow. Okay, so we're gonna add some oak planks. We're gonna go here to make a door. And this is in the Mojang Village style. It looks very plain and flat just now, but it's your job to jazz it up. You could add in fence gates, you could add in um, just fences, plants, bushes, trees, vines, all sorts of things to make your build stand out. You can add balconies as well. We're gonna definitely add some balconies as well. And it really stops it being flat and Mojangy and brings the build out. So just uh, fill all those in all the way around. We're gonna need some 
some glass added to our list of ingredients as well. So we put that down there. We're going to need some uh, glass. So we can put this glass in like that. Plenty windows, plenty windows right here as well. Let's just keep on building. So this can also be a little window. And this one right here can be a door like that. So I think we should probably go and grab the doors like this. Let's grab a door. And what else are we going to do? Let's grab a door. That's clearly a fence. Uh, a, a door. We're going to need a slab as well. That's going to let us get on to the next kind of stage. So, um, oh, we need some more walls over here. I forgot. So let's put these ones in like that. And then this one's going to be a door there. And we're going to need the glass again. And another door right here. Phew, hard work. So I'm just going to spin the camera around nice and slowly so you can see exactly what we've done so far. Need another door there, of course. Again, there. Pretty good progress, I have to say. It's pretty good progress. Not too shabby so far. Um, let's add on an oak fence there. And an oak fence on this side. There we are. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, what's next? What should we do next? Hmm. All right. A teeny tiny balcony here. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. This is going to let us do a little teeny tiny balcony. So we're going to go focus with the slabbers, slabbers, slabbers. Slabby, 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 slab, slab. Slabby, slabby. And then oak fence. Like that. And that's a little balcony that runs around there like that. Okay, so we have some more detail. We have some more uh, planks to put in underneath here. Let's just crack on and get the roof done. So for the roof, we're going to need these blocks here. Brick stairs, spruce wood stairs, or your choice, whatever you want, and stone brick slabs. Okay, let's do this. So some key blocks are here and here on this roof like this. This roof runs all the way along like this, in which place you get another key block right there. And we can just bring this one right back as well. So that's pretty good progress actually so far. Uh, this one can come along here like that and then do this. And then we're going to go like that and like that and then just zip this across one, two, three, four. We're going to stop it right about there because it's going to join onto the next roof so we don't want to get too carried away and then here one two three four and that completes this front little bit of roof with an upside down correct the way up facing backwards and you could do that as well if you wished and i'm going to put some planks up here planks very much and back here i'm going to go hmm, i'm going to go one two three four like that and that's going to help guide the rest of the roof by the way, what we can also do is put some little slabs here. One, two, three, four. Oops. Four. Like that. Cool. So we've got this little sticky out extra bit of roof here, which I quite like. Let's do uh, I did like it until I destroyed it. Let's do the same across on this side. So that's the key, key block right there. That gets sealed into there. Up another level. Upside down. Upside down. Another level. Same on this side, of course. One, two, three, four. And now, now we're at the same stage as we are over there, just about. We can add this one. One, two, three, four. And we can go upside down, correct the way up, facing backwards, and then that way. Boom. So that does that. And of course, finish it off with some stone brick slabs. Some oak wood planks in here. One, two, three. There we are. Pretty cool, huh? So the rest of the roof just kind of works itself out really easily. You've got a key block there, and we go all the way along here like this. I like the way these roofs are kind of close to each other. It's really cool. By the way, what I haven't done to upgrade this house is I haven't done that. You can do it if you want. I just want to make it still recognizable as a library. And everyone kind of looks at that and goes, ah, oh, yeah, Minecraft library. And that's what I want. I want it to be recognizable. As you can see over here, you can still, it looks like an amazing, cool build. Well, ha. <laughs> 
in my opinion. <clears throat> but you can still see the library. You can still see the Mojang library. And that's what I like about these transformations. I see too many transformations on YouTube and people, people, uh, their builds look completely different from the Mojang builds. That's, for me, that's not the point. That is just missing the point completely. Um, you may as well just start with a brand new build, dude. Anyway, this also uses my 5x5 Minecraft building system, so it should be easy to expand if you wish. Okay, we need to keep on going up with this roof until we get to the meeting point. Roofs are hard work, probably the hardest part of your building, especially if you're doing this in survival where you've got to build all the scaffolding things. Oh boy, I can't stand it. I need to fly. I always need to fly in Minecraft. <laughs> can't stand it. Um, that one needs to be upside down like that because that's actually the top of the roof and we can do a little twiddly bit like that. Same over here, a little twiddly bit upside down, correctly way up facing backwards and upside down. Again with some Stonus Bricus Slabus on top. Pretty cool. Uh, let's keep on going with our roof. So this one just keeps on coming like this. Like that. Um, hmm. What happens now? <laughs> what happens? Oh, we need some. We need. I know what we do. We, do, we, we get some of these oak planks. We put them. Did we do that? Yeah, we put them in there. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got this. I got this. I got this. Um, yeah, we do that. Put, the, put them in there. Oh, in here as well, I think. Like that. Aha! That kind of works out. And this one can be sealed up as well. You could put some little cool secret windows in there if you wanted. That gets sealed up, that gets sealed up. This is the attic after all. And then we just keep on going like this. And this kind of just works out. Do we do one more? Hmm, what do we do here? Do we, well, we take off that, I think, when we go like that. That's what we do, and we do upside down. So that's kind of sneaky. So let's do that exactly the same on the other side. So we come out and sticking out, take away that slab, we do that, that, and then upside down. Ooh, that just works. That just actually works. I like that. Okay, let's go back down underneath and we're gonna put in a little door here. It's really dark in there. Let me grab a little torch and light things up. I'm using shaders here, so it's a little dark. Under here, we'll just light that up like that. Um, so yeah, let's grab another bit here. We can make these windows. Did I put a torch there? Silly Billy. And um, before I do that, let's just put more cobblestone here. Now, this is where you've got a choice. You could expand your library and have many more books. And I think this would be a good place to do it. This room here would be a good place to have more, more books like that. Oh, we're gonna need some glass. Let's put that in here. I'm gonna put that there. So yeah, I think this could be where you'd have more books. So you could just do that. I really expand this whole, whoops, this whole room. I would take away this internal glass. What did I destroy? That, like that. And then you've got, you can, you could open it up here, for example. You've got so much more space for having books. I'm not gonna do too much detail on the inside but you could even have books up there if you wanted. You could have books up there. You could have books all over the shop. Okay, so that could be furnished nicely uh, as a little ex expansion to your library. But I'm not going to take away the creativity. You guys are in charge of what the, the, the build is and what looks good and what doesn't look good. Add some little fences. Again, I'm kind of using... I guess I'm using the 5x5 five five method if I go to here still five by five right yeah yeah add some fences add some little places for animals and stuff maybe you could have a farm down here you can grow your own food as a librarian you'd be pretty good you could look up all the recipes and all your books and so on so there we go plenty of room for garden for farm for animals for storage you could be a librarian <laughs> do people grow up wanting to be librarians maybe they do maybe they do um let's make a little door here and this little door here is going to reach and let us go from the build to our tower. So what we want to do is make a little door actually right here into the library. And the top of the library has got all these extra 
blocks, which you absolutely do not need. You can dig out the inside. Did you know you can do this? You can dig out the inside of your library. And what I'm going to do is make another little floor across here like that. And then maybe over here, if you take out that, that would be a good place to put a ladder to come up. So let's keep on going, destroying some of these blocks here. And there we are. Pretty cool. So we've got a nice little corridor here and we need to uh, hack our way through. And there we are. We're through into this room as well. Pretty smart, huh? So we need to maybe uh, just build things up here a little bit here. Obviously, we've got a gap here, which is a little bit exposed. But you could do something like that, maybe something like that. And that's it all sealed in. But I'm not going to do uh, much more to this build, apart from maybe just seal that in there. And there we are. And don't forget, you can go up here into the attic as well loads of space loads of place to make a really cool survival base out of the minecraft library um by the way can we get rid of these blocks as well we can get rid of these blocks to give us a bit more headroom up here goodness me we need some more headroom right over here the last couple of things in this build cup one two three one two like that let's make that like that like, 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 like that and then some slabs across there and you could put a door and bob is your uncle we are done with this build a uh, little last few little details i suppose uh yeah that's us that is us don't forget your bushes your trees your plants your farms your animals all the details that bring a build to life C bafting crunchies i don't know what else would you use in this place um there we go I like this. I like this a lot. It's actually one of my favorite builds. We're making a survival base basically out of a library. And it still looks like a library. Awesome. There we go. If you want to support this channel and keep more tips, tricks, and inspiration coming your way, then check out patreon.com forward slash Yoda. There are lots of amazing rewards like downloading all my builds and getting exclusive private videos just for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Ciao, ciao, the blocks. Be with you.